Hey, what's going on, guys? It's X Jaws, and today I'm bringing you a quick three and a half minute uh, search and destroy here, real quickie, um, on invasion. And uh, today I'm using the UMP45 silenced, and I know I said I don't really use this gun a lot, but you know I wanted to have a really short match like this to talk about a specific uh, tactic I like to use. You'll hear about it in a minute. Um, so you know I didn't I didn't really mind posting a game with it here. Um, in this case, uh, my perks are Marathon, Lightweight, and Ninja Pro. Um, but, you know, that that's going to change here in a minute, and I'll explain myself. Um, and my kill streaks are 579. So anyway, the Search and Destroy tactic I want to talk about is uh, maximizing the amount of kills you can get using different perks each round. Um, sometimes you change your perks, sometimes you don't. Um, so anyway, I have three class setups. Marathon, or I have a submachine gun with Marathon Lightweight Ninja, submachine gun with Marathon Hardline Ninja, and a submachine gun with Marathon Cold-Blooded Ninja. Um, now basically, the reason I have all three of these is because the first round, no matter what, I'm going to be, well, actually not no matter what, but for me, in my case, no matter what, I'm going to be using Marathon Lightweight Ninja. Now that's because um, my first kill streak is the Predator Missile, and that takes five kills, and I am not expecting to get all five kills on the first round. Um, so as long as I'm able to get two kills in the first round, I will switch to Marathon Hardline Ninja in the second round, just like I did in this game. And as you saw, I was able to pick up um, my two kills to get the Predator Missile fairly fast, um, and that's aided, obviously, by the fact that I'm rushing a lot. Um, and on a map like Invasion, a lot of people tend to snipe or sit back in the beginning of the map and not expect a lot of gunfights, um, simply because the map has... Kind of like a lot. It has a lot of choke points, a lot of spots that you definitely don't want to cross. Um, and if you can get to, you can, if you can get across those choke points, for example, um, in the center of the map, there's that sandbag area. And if you can get past that before the enemy team is even looking there, I mean, you've got this extreme advantage. Uh, you're already in their spawn and raping them basically. Um, so that's one guy right there. I just killed my predator missile. I knew that I was going to be rushing up that route, so I decided to target him amongst all the other guys who I could have killed my predator missile, simply because that is, you know, the route that I'm planning to run. I actually didn't get to get all the way down there because the round ended because I killed this guy. Um, and unfortunately, my Harrier was only, get, only able to get one kill. And the reason I called it in is because I wanted to get my Pavlo. And it, the, the game is most likely going to end the next round. I knew that I was going to most likely 4-0 uh, these people. So I needed to make use of the air support. And at least I got one kill. You know what I mean? At least I got one. Um, so this round right here, there's this corner up here that you want to try and get to as soon as possible. And I was actually able to get there really, really fast and pick off the guy who was um, expecting to be able to sit back there, camp his ass off, and take out any rushers. Um, but I made sure that his day got fucked up before he was able to do that. Um, so right here, we're like, I think, 20 seconds into the game, and they only have one guy left. And I was uh, running around with my Rangers because it was a lot of close quarters areas over there. Um, but switched my UMP, followed the UAV, and uh, took out this guy in the final round. Um, so there you go guys, that's my little uh, tips and tricks for search and destroy. That's pretty much the best tactic that you can possibly use in search and destroy. Uh, obviously you want to change it up based on what kill streaks you're using. If you're using lower kill streaks, you might want to use hardline right off the bat. Um, like if you're using a UAV and you want to just get two quick kills. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.